Wow. Uh. Hundred and fifteen forty eight watt hours and put DC twelve two hundred watt solar panel charging. Wow, that's good. AC output, Type C output. Hmm, twelve volt starter. Vito Man, good unit. It's uh, probably about fifty sixty pounds. I'll put the specifications. Up on top of the actual specifications. Remember, guys, when I do my videos, I'll put specifications, all that information on there. I'd rather you go to the website for the actual specs, but I'll go over them with it just so that I make sure I'm correct. Remember, I'm not a mechanic, a electrician, or a professional. I'm just a nomad on the road using these electrical technical advances to help me get along. And those boondockers can use them. So let's go over this real quick. This is what came in the package. I saw you that big box. You got the jumper cables, and I'm going to do a jumper on a, a vehicle. You got the 12 volt adapter where you can charge this unit. I think it takes about nine, uh, I can't, well, probably more than that. And then you have the AC adapter. I know the AC adapter said it takes about seven, eight hours completely to fully charge this Vito Man. Okay, over here you got the 12 volt adapter right here. You can charge, you know, use your fan, refrigerators, that kind of stuff. And you also have 12 volt. Uh, to, um, what do you call those, uh, these little adapters here, I forgot, um, you, I'll go over there, there's little buttons here that you can't see, one of the things I don't like about it is these things should be painted yellow, there's a button, there's an AC button here, right, which is right there, and then you have the USB button right here, USB button right there, and then the 12 volt button right there, so it's kind of, uh, interesting, and it's LED light goes out once in a while, so 12 volt, Let's see, 12 volts on, 12 volts. See, it's just uh, right there, DC, turn that's off. And then you got the USB. USB is on, USB is off. AC, AC is on, AC is off. You have your wattage right there. You got your battery remaining, 68%. And let me tell you what, when I got this in, it was 99%. And I've already charged phones and a couple of laptop stuff and everything. Also, my electric battery. My electric bike, guys, this is huge. My electric bike was at two bars, and this thing charged my electric bike in like four, five, six hours, and it only used about 30-something percent. Okay, so got this, obviously, Vito Man. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my bike here. Bike's at three or four bars. My AC power supply for the bike, and... Let's plug this thing in and see if it's got Vito way. Man plugged into the electric bike. The electric bike was at three bars at 9 a.m. Let's see what uh what goes on. Percent. I used a microwave in my RV with this thing. I plugged it into here and used a microwave. That worked out okay. And then you have your USB type C outputs right here, which are pretty cool. So that's the Vito Man, guys. That's everything that it came in. And this is everything. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do a jumper. Right here, you can see the jumper. That's right here, and this is you can charge your solar panels. You can charge this unit up, charge the battery up with that. Doesn't come with solar panels, doesn't come with any other cables, didn't come with a user's manual, and I think I've got one of the first units, so that's probably why it didn't. And this also, there's other happenings with the Vito Man. There's another option that comes on the back of these units, which didn't come on the back of this unit was a light and not only that but another option so you could connect a couple of these batteries together to increase the usage so remember the only thing i don't like is the weight is the buttons right here the dark you, you know it's not that i don't like them but you, i'm going to paint them a little yellow or something so you can see where the buttons are especially at night and then the led goes off in a little bit but that's that's irrelevant you have two three ac adapters which are really cool and I'm going to tell you what, this thing right here is a really cool unit. You just have it sitting inside your mobile home or whatever, your back of your van or your truck. So have it sitting there and keeping it charged up. you got your power, your extension cables you can always create that, you know, so you don't have to carry this thing around. But uh, I'm loving the electric bike situation. I mean, it's it's got a uh, pure sine wave inverter. It's a uh, battery. It's a nice battery. It's not a... Uh, what do you call it? 
Oh, God, sorry, I'm having a little brain fart here. But remember, guys, I'm just a nomad doing a review. And I like these reviews. I like watching reviews where me and you, Joe Schmo, open up a box, pull it out, put it together, use it. And not these guys that go over all these specs is my, you know, I got a charger here and I'm going to run this charger and I'm going to blow this thing up. I'm going to turn it. We're not, that's not what we're about. What we're about is grabbing something out of the box, having it available so that we can use this to help us make it day by day and enjoying our camping lives. Life's as a backup, whatever you're going to use it for. I'm so becoming more go, of a guys. Vito Man fan. I got my uh, TV hooked to it. I've always used a 12 volt adapter that's going to the house battery whenever I'm boondocking. But according to this thing right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says uh, 50 watts, and I got 18 hours of TV time. This is uh, that 68%. Now, mind you guys, I already powered my bike up from this thing. I haven't re 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 uh, recharged this thing yet. This Vito Men's powerful. Very powerful. So I'm going to hook up the TV. Oh, let's do this here. Ah, quick charge. USB. USB is on. Plug in my phone in. Doesn't even affect that, but uh, phone's charging. All right. That's the Vito Man. And I'm going to take this speaker that I use for my TV. Oh, man, guys. XTV hooked up. Got my phone charging. I got the speaker phone charging. TV, phone, speaker phone's all taking about 65 watts. And it's giving me about 14 hours of uh, time. So... This is pretty good, and I got in a pretty good situation here in the motorhome to where, uh, you know, you can see it. It's just sitting up there in one of my cases. Usually I don't have that red case in here, but I'm kind of leaving it right now because that's a good spot for the Vito. I like Vito Man. Vito Man. I think he's Italian. But uh, there you go. TV's hooked up. Charging. Boondocking. There you go, All Joe. All right, guys. I know I'm down to 1.5 watt hours, 67%, 686 watts. But I'm uh, I'm cooking me some toast. Charger's not even, the fan's not even on. 686 watts. Well, it's 1,500, so it should be good. But I'm sitting here cooking me some toast while I'm watching some TV, while I'm charging my speakerphone, and while I'm charging my phone. Come on, guys. Can't go wrong with the Vito Man. All right, guys. So we have the Vito Man Jump 1500. Got this in uh, a couple of days ago. And then we have the uh, the jumper adapter right here with the power cables, obviously the positive and negative. This is similar to a lot of other jumper cables I've, I've been or jumper adapters I see. It only has uh, one connection. Oh. Thing, and another thing, like I said before, thing's pretty heavy, so you got to be careful what you're doing and where you're doing it. Another thing you'll notice here, it says jumper cables. You see this little junk? Can you, can you guys read that jumper cable right there? You notice when I open this up, it only has one way that this can go in, right? It's the female end. This is the male end, okay? So we're going to take this. I'm going to plug this into here. You always make sure that you, you, what, you know what you're doing. One thing good about these that I noticed is that they're copper, the, the metal on here, so that's pretty good. You take the positive on the positive, and you take the negative on the negative, okay? Notice over here, if you come over here, it's a solid green light. Can you, get a look, can you see that solid green light on the adapter? That means your connections are okay. Now, if this was a blinking green light, that means that your battery is totally 100% dead and it might not start. Since it's a steady green, that means you're, you're okay. Now, if it was red blinking, that means you have your connections on there wrong. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the vehicle. And this is a uh, Toyota EFI, by the way. Very, very nice uh, motorhome. Being, it's being done a lot. It's been sitting for a while, so we're going to see. Hopefully, this thing starts. Let's give it a shot. Button on top of the key that you gotta press to take the key out. 
Jump 1500. Boom, this thing's been sitting for a long time. Now I know I'm doing a lot of these things. Oh, it just died because of the gear. It has nothing to do with the battery. The battery is fully charged. Not fully charged, but the jumper works. When you take these things apart, take the positive off first, then the negative, and then pull out the jumper thing, and there you go. Veto Man. I'll tell you what, this is one of the only invert or chargers or, or power stations that have a jumper attached to it. In other words, a lot of the power station that you see out there, the Blue Eddies and all these other things, they don't have a uh, jumper attached to it. So you can't use, you know, you can't jump your car from the unit. But this Veto Man does. So, so far, I'll tell you what, I've, I already charged my bicycle up, my electric bike from the AC unit, didn't take the whole thing. It took me about probably, I think what I say, about nine, 10 hours to charge this unit up fully. I used the USB power stations, the, out, the quick chargers and the regular type C connections. I've used the 12 volts for the 12 volt fan that I had inside that I showed you earlier and also. And then you have the uh, AC adapters that you plug in to charge this unit up. And also you can charge it up with the solar panels, which I haven't done yet. I have 300 watt solar panels. I think they're too much for this battery. I think the maximum you can use is 100 watt solar panel to charge this unit up. That's it, so thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Check out the description of this unit in the video and the links to this unit if you're interested in one, which I recommend. And uh, thanks for watching again. All right, VTO Man. Great unit. Give it a 9 out of 10, one being a little bit too heavy. But other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll put the description of the product in the bottom there under the description, obviously. And I thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and we'll catch you next time.